Hey guys, um, so I get this question asked a lot. Um, I've had several people email me and ask me this question. So um, I've decided to go ahead and make a video about it. What are the most important programming languages to know in 2019? Uh, so that depends on a lot of things. Um, we'll go ahead and go through it. So if you are a beginning developer, so if you're just getting started, then I would recommend Python. Um, the reason for that is because Python is really easy to get um, go, uh, to get going with. It's even super easy to like download and install and launch and start programming. Um, some of the other programming languages are more heavy duty. It's hard to even get something up and running. So for that reason, I recommend Python to, for complete beginners. Um, also, I have a series called Heart of Programming, um, which focuses with which teaches Python programming to complete beginners. It's way different than any other intro to programming tutorials that I found online. That's why I made it, because uh, I, I didn't find uh, a tutorial that was geared specifically towards introducing you to the core concepts of programming so that you can determine whether you even like programming. If you're just starting out, you probably want to, you know, you want a realistic picture of whether you actually like programming or not. So for again, uh, for a complete beginner, I would recommend that you start with Python and um, you know, risking a shameless self uh, promotion of my own video, I would recommend that you guys watch the Heart of Programming series because its whole goal, its whole purpose is to show you the core of programming so that you know whether you actually like it or not. And it, and it uh, goes through Python. If you decide to go ahead with Python as a complete beginner, um, even later on, it will be very useful. Python is not just a beginner language. It happens to be really easy to get up and running and it's hassle-free. Um, that's what makes it really suitable for a beginner, but it's also really, really good for you know professional work. Um, I believe now it is the most popular programming language. It's the most widely used programming language. So it will definitely not be a waste for you to start learning Python as a beginner. Now, after you've done some Python programming and you've decided that programming is for you, that you enjoy it, then I would recommend that you either move to C Sharp or Java. Both of those languages are extremely popular. They are statically typed, uh, which means you can create larger programs uh, with them. Python is dynamically typed. I won't go too much into uh, the different type systems, but basically from my experience, and, and it's also a well-known fact that trying to create large systems uh, with dynamically typed uh, languages is a, a bit harder. So it's good that Java and C Sharp are statically typed. So after learning a bit of Python and you, you figuring out that you enjoy programming, then I would recommend that you move into one of those, either C Sharp or Java. I believe Java is, e both of them are immensely popular, but I be believe um, Java is e even more popular. It's the more popular of the two. So you want to move to C Sharp or Java if you kind of want to be a general programmer. You don't really want to uh, specialize in anything, but let's say that, for example, you want to specialize in web development, right? Then you probably want to invest some time into learning JavaScript and maybe TypeScript. So JavaScript is the language of the web, um, but it's dynamically typed, just like Python. So creating really large programs in it is actually pretty difficult. TypeScript, on the other hand, is statically typed. It actually just transcompiles into JavaScript, which basically means that it's translated um, it's a statically typed language, very similar to JavaScript. Uh, it's pretty much JavaScript with types. And then it, it gets compiled into uh, JavaScript. Um, so in the end, you end up with JavaScript. But since TypeScript is statically typed, you can create larger programs in it. So again, if you're going the web development track, then I would recommend that you start learning um, JavaScript, maybe TypeScript. And probably maybe um, you know uh, some SQL uh, database as well, and of course um, HTML and CSS. But those aren't really uh, programming languages. Those are very easy to pick up. If on the other hand you're going the uh, let's say the game development route, uh, then you probably need to learn C++. Now, as a beginner, or even a, as a, somebody who has a, a decent amount of experience, so if you're not a complete beginner, I still would not recommend C++ for you. C++ is the language that I've used the most. It's the one that I'm the most comfortable with. Um, but you know, here's why I wouldn't recommend it to a beginner or even uh, you know an intermediate developer. It's because it's a language that requires you to know a lot. Um, and if you don't need the speed, you know, 
really its main uh, appeal is that you can write really fast programs. If you don't need its speed, there's no need to use C++. Um, but if you're going the game development route, then you know you probably need to learn some C++ because um, you know game development uh, is all about speed. Um, and more generally, if you're going uh, in any domain, so not just uh, game development, any domain that requires a lot of uh, speed. So maybe you're um, you know it, working on developing for embedded devices that just don't have a lot of uh, power, right? They're slow. You want to program in C++ because C++ is very efficient. So even on that slow hardware, it will run much faster than um, these other languages. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap. Now, if you're a complete beginner, I suggest that you start with Python um, because it's super easy to get up and running. And you can also optionally follow my um, Heart of Programming um, tutorial to learn if uh, programming is really for you to learn whether you actually will enjoy programming. Now, once you've decided that you enjoy programming and you want to pursue it, um, it uh, the language that you should subsequently learn uh, depends on your path. You can continue with Python. As I said, it's probably the most popular programming language. It's used a lot in uh, the scientific domain. Um, it's a general pro uh, purpose programming language. It's used a lot, particularly in the scientific domain. So you can continue with Python if that's what you want. Um, but you can also go with C Sharp um, or Java if you want to go with a statically typed language so that you can start developing larger and larger programs. Uh, that's if you want to keep yourself a general, if you want to be a general programmer. Uh, now, if you want to be more specific, so let's say you want to go into web development, right? Uh, then you probably want to learn JavaScript and maybe TypeScript. And of course, HTML and CSS and some S uh, SQL database. Now, if you want to go game development that, or anything that requires high performance um, you know, code, then you want to go with C++. As I said, you don't want to learn C++ um, unless you have to, unless you need the speed. Because out of all these languages that I listed, um, that's probably the hardest one to, uh, to pick up um, and the hardest one to master. And there we go. Those are the best programming languages to know in 2019 as a beginning developer and as an intermediate or even uh, expert developer. Those are probably the most popular programming languages, but each of them have a different purpose. So you have to take into, into account what you really want to, you know, what you want to specialize. Um, that's what will determine what languages you should learn. Uh, that's all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions or anything, post it as a comment or um, send me a message or something. And uh, if enough of you ask me, I'll go ahead and make a video. If not, I'll get back to you with a personal reply. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in, in uh, another one of my videos. Bye-bye.